Okay. Reading Rainbow, Episode 5, Lewis the Fish. One day, last spring, Lewis, a butcher, turned into a fish. Silvery scales, big lips, a tail, a salmon. Lewis did not lead before this an unusual life. His grandfather was a butcher. His father was a butcher. So Lewis was a butcher. He had a small shop on Flatbush, steady customers, good meat. He was always friendly, always helpful, a wonderful guy. But Lewis was not a happy man. He hated meat. From the time he was a little boy, he was always surrounded by meat. Whenever he would visit his grandfather on Sundays, it was always Lewis, my favorite grandson. What a good boy! Here's a hot dog. On his birthdays, his beaming parents would hand him a gift-wrapped salami. When he was 13, they gave him a turkey. Lewis did anything to get away from meat. He got a job. Afternoons, cleaning fish tanks, cleaning fish tanks in a doctor's office. Lewis loved the job. For hours, he'd stare at the fish, their eyes blinking, their fins flapping. But a good thing doesn't last long. One night at dinner, Lewis's mother said to his father, Nat, why does Lewis have to slave over those lousy fish? What's the matter? You can't have you can't give him a little job in the store. But Ma, I right You're right, Rose. Tomorrow, Lewis, after school, you come to the store. It's time you learn something about meat. And that was it. Every day, Lewis was at his father's shop. Someday, this will all be yours, his father would say. And it was. His parents died suddenly, and Lewis took over the butcher shop. For years, that's where he worked. Lewis was so unhappy. His only happy times were when he was in the refrigerator. There, he'd sit for hours and draw fish. Big ones, little ones. He'd draw them all over the place, surrounded by steaks. All Lewis thought about was fish. But then it got worse! He began to see fish everywhere. At home, on the bus, at ball games. Even his customers began to look like fish to him. Business started to fail. His health declined. He was always thirsty. At night, Lewis had trouble sleeping. One night in May, he had bad dreams. He dreamt he was walking down the street, and he was attacked! Hamburgers were punching him. Salamis kicked him. Lamb chops, roast beefs, and briskets all ganged up on him. He yelled for help, but no one came. That morning, Lewis woke up feeling cold and wet. He was a fish, a salmon. Al, from Al's pet store, found him on the bus going up Flatbush. Look at that face, he tells his customers. I couldn't eat him, so I brought him to the store. Lewis soon forgot everything about being a butcher, living on Flatbush, or even being a human being at all. After a hard life, Lewis was a happy fish. The End